Hi, and welcome to this month's look at upcoming JRPG and JRPG-inspired games. This month's looking to be a doozy. First up, we have Mana Finder from Wolsten. Mana Finder from Wolsten is first up on the chopping block, and is about the most JRPG inspired game you could find. With the pixel art out of the 16 bit era and a battle system that's reminiscent of Fancy Star in looks, but goes deeper with a complex weapon and elemental affinity system. We take on the role of Lambda, the titular Mana Finder. Someone who must go out seeking mana stones, which help keep their settlements safe from the harsh world. But external and internal threats becoming ever more complex. Can Lambda pull off a miracle and save her people? Coming October 5th to PC. Everything that lives is designed to end. Finally, one of the most critically acclaimed action RPGs in years to come out is hitting the switch, a feat many thought wasn't possible. Neo Automata. Experience the story of an Earth that has succumbed to an external threat, that's pushed mankind to the moon, but in an attempt to re-establish themselves back on Earth, they send 2B, a member of the android force Yora, down to see if anything can be done. And the plot only gets more complex from there. Developed by Platinum Games, headed by Yoko Taro as the main director, published by Square Enix and ported by Virtuous. Head back to Earth once more on October 6th. Like near before, this next game is one that's already seen a release, but this time it was already on Switch and is now coming to PC, so kind of the other way around. And it's the oddly named Triangle Strategy, Square Enix's 2D HD turn-based strategy RPG, similar to you know the old classics like Final Fantasy Tactics. It's set on the continent of Norzelia, which previously had a horrific war between three empires. They called it the Salt Iron War, and as you probably guessed, it was over resources such as salt and iron. And it's now once again on the brink of tensions as the distribution of these critical supplies is being redrawn. And we step in as one of the people who can change the fate of this world. Once again, step in and enjoy that turn-based tactical RPG style gameplay that's so fun to play. It's coming to PC October the 13th. A new future is before us, a bright future. Today, we fight not for glory or pride, but for survival, for the future. The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands now. You are responsible for more than just your own life now. I need to become stronger. I must. A war to end all wars. A war whose victor shall rule Norzelia Fire! in our glorious entirety. You have grown strong, Frederica. May my powers be enough to make you see the light. A battle to prove which of us is more fit to rule Norzelia. 
You speak of the Hierophant? You will pay for your grievous sins, Sarah Noah Wolfort, with your life. As long as I keep walking, there will always be hope. This battle is but the first step on the path Lord Serenoa has laid before us. Let us take this first step together and rejoice. Come what may, my steps shall never waver. The goddess sees. Yes, behold my power. Let the cold overtake you. Nothing. You are free of sin. You are free. I'm behind you. To victory! Oh, tell you. Why? Not another step. I will leave you defenseless. You'll pay for what you've done to my family. Everyone has the right to choose their own path based on their own convictions. Feel the might of my magic. Think you can take it? I care only that you and the legacy of House Wolfwood are safe and secure. Can you handle my might? It is you who should be seeking mercy. I swore an oath to Lady Destra. Power to your wings no longer. I'll restore this kingdom to its rightful glory. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely. I never meant for any of this to happen. All this bloodshed. The next game from Ocean Drive Studio might look very Western in styling, but its beating heart is that of a Fire Emblem clone setting it as a JRPG inspired game <laughs> since it's you know inspired by Fire Emblem is it? well since it's inspired by Fire Emblem it is a strategy RPG but one with actual amazing looking visuals for an indie studio something that I feel more indie, indie studios should attempt instead of going down that old like pixel art route they've actually gone full 3D with the looks and it looks good the game tells the story of Eden a mercenary captain from a small village ends up being caught in the machinations against a corrupt and crumbling empire that has seized control of the land of Bene the land of Beneria. Coming to PC October 13th. I'll do whatever it takes to bring my people home. And no king, no friend, nothing will stop me. So the next title is technically not releasing in the West, but its Asian version will have an English option. Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher is a strange crossover of the old Monster Rancher series and the Ultra Kaiju, which is part of the Ultraman universe. This strange amalgamation is coming out October 20th, if you're willing to import that is. And it'll be on the Destruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? 
and you seem to be enjoying every second of it. For those that have asked for it, your prayers have been answered. Persona 5, the biggest game to come out, come out of the SMT series, is finally making its way off Sony consoles to pretty much everything else. For those that don't know what Persona is, so it's one of the bastions of turn-based RPGs that's still going and hasn't switched to an action combat system. Looking at you, Square Enix. And it also has the social link system, which has become popular in many other types of games as well, in which you build bonds with all the characters in the story through various events that take place outside of, in this case, very stylish dungeons and combat for a turn-based game. Coming not to PlayStation on October 21st. I will not lose heart again. Ever. Please don't forget the promise we made, okay? I won't let you down! even a one in a million chance that my phantom thieves could ever lose. It would seem war is much the same here in the stars as it is in our world. The next on the list is another long-standing series, getting its sixth entry, hopefully redeeming it after a lackluster fifth entry. This time, we apprise the role of Raymond when his ship is attacked by the Pangalactic Federation, Grasslands on an undeveloped planet. He must work together with his ship's crew and new allies from the world to undoubtedly save the universe. This is what happens in the Star Ocean game. Star Ocean, the Divine Force, has its unique action-style combat, along with the new ability to fly around the world. Coming from Square Enix and Trias on October 27th to PlayStation, Xbox and PC as well as Chloe's, could become compromised should we involve ourselves any further. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Yep, you got that right. We'll make it work. Blame your own misfortune that embroiled you in this. Now perish! Duma Production Model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. What the heck's this supposed to be? What is this? Later. Right now, we've got company. We are the ones who should be utilizing this power. Take control of her, and all this can change. Besides, our ride will be coming soon. Which means we have to take what we want. God, you mean we gotta fight them, too? Must we fight? This will never change until one or the other is no more! Burgoldian Interstellar has already deployed forces throughout the system to intercept them. Don't tell me you're seriously planning to strike at the Federation. Why exactly are you here, pray tell? Have you aims at world domination? Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. I know of many experiences in this world far worse than death. There's nothing we can do. Is evacuating the correct course of action? That leaves not all well. Don't worry, Dad. I got this. But why would you do that? Perhaps it's best if you enlighten them yourself. Tell them your purpose and identity. It is not our intent to conquer. And why should we believe you? You have rejected our every guarantee of safety. Surely you know. You were doing what you thought was right, correct? Her Highness has chosen to die with dignity. No! No! Regardless of whether they wish it or not, such a future is now their fate.
So it's an interesting month. A lot of games bring themselves from shackles of their impressive console overlords. No moving to Oris, along with a new hope for Star Mission. Thanks for watching. No. As normal, if you know we'll any other game that you would like to be inspired by, please put it in the comments. See you again soon.